And now the best part, my whole family. Come, come, Dad. There's, oh wait. You won't be able to see that on camera, but it's cool. Right. All my favorite people. The 360 sunrise. And a moment that is unlike anything you can possibly imagine as we stare at the sun's atmosphere. And uh, yeah, it's the uh, most dynamic corona you'll ever see. All right, it is April 3rd and we are repositioning to Maine, I think Maine, but somewhere in the Northeast, which means I get to lug these Starlink satellites, camera gear, that, and everything in my back. It's like 200 pounds worth of stuff. We have 200 pounds worth of stuff and it's leading. Not loving it. Want to ride the bus? It's April 6th, we're at a rest stop in Augusta, Maine, fueling up. This thing takes a lot of gas. And of course, it's snowy out there, but it's pouring right now. We will take all the rain, get it out of the way. We want sunny skies on Monday. And now we're getting groceries, so we have stuff to eat in the morning. Wrong turn, we're in upstate New York. The official beer. Has some work Does anyone need bars? Great, so this video is going to make it look like an alcohol. Lovely. For $9.99? Of course we do. Very well, thanks. destination is on your right. Arrived. You know, it doesn't look like much outside, <laughs> but I'm sure it's nice inside. Not as terrible as I thought it'd be. in the morning. We can stop at Dunkin' Donuts in the way. They have Eclipse Donuts. Those are good things. We will have lunch about 10.30 to noon. Lunch at 10.30? Brunch. Oh, brunch, okay. Remember, we're going to a gas station. It's beautiful. In Oakfield. 
So, so this is this is well where, where we'll be set up. Correct. Bring your lawn chairs. <laughs> now, there's an alternate option. There's this park that's about 20 minutes away. Crescent Park, Nickerson Lake. I'd say, can I make a suggestion? No. <laughs> <laughs> if we leave early enough, let's check the Crescent Park location. Let's we'll figure out it. It's 40 extra minutes. Yeah, so... and then if it's bad enough, then we can just relocate yeah. to the Oakfield part with the... The thing I like right, about Crescent The problem park is you have to get up 40 minutes earlier for that. So. Oh, no. well, I don't know. Most people, I like late people minutes. aren't going to be getting there early. Thursdays are never on Tuesdays. <laughs> No, does that not, like, I no, that yeah, meteorologists exactly. will get there, like, three it, it, hours. No, no, no. Whipple Cemetery in Jackman. Jackman has one road in, one no. road out, though, so the roads are going to suck getting back. It'd be, like, five. I, I would agree seven. that's a recipe for bad traffic. Right. I also don't think the cloud cover is going to be any better over there. Nice. I think right. we're good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Forecast nice. It's nice to have another meteorologist. The good Sorry. news. Apogee is... Um, rather, Perigee is right now, meaning we're at our closest. It's about 222,000 miles away, so it'll be bigger. That's why the duration of this eclipse is pretty decent. Here's a map. You all seen this a million times. If you haven't, you are now. It takes 68 minutes. It takes 68 minutes from the time it first enters Texas to get to northern Maine. That checks out. It enters Texas at 2.27 p.m. Eastern Time. Our stream begins at 2.15 Eastern Time. So Erica and I have about eight minutes for the intro, and then we'll start calling out towns like Texas. 3.32 p.m. Eastern Time, and finally exits the U.S. into Canada. Well, we get at about 3.30, 3.31. Now, here's the thing. Oh, it's faster. Right, much faster. The shadow oh, enters so the U.S. at 1,600 miles per hour and exits at about 3,000 miles per hour. That, it's 115 miles wide. Understandably, if it's passing over you slower, you get more totality. If it's faster, you get less. <clears throat> However, the Earth's surface is also curving away at the same time. First contact is at 221, totality is at 331.45, max eclipse at about 333, it ends at 335. It'll be out of the country shortly thereafter. Point yeah, seven. typo, typo, yes. 320, it'll look like this. 328, it'll get a little dark, it'll get really weird. 331. Wow. The lights are out like this, the lights are on like this. First contact, the moon will first nick the sun in the bottom right. So 221. At 320 is when things will really get weird. You'll see about an 80% reduction in sunlight. All the puffy clouds and cumulus will be gone. It'll be about 5 degrees cooler, and the winds will start to slacken. They'll go dead during totality. The shadows will look like this. You shadow know bands. <laughs> so sure. Those aren't shadow bands, but we'll get there. I know, just... <laughs> At 327, it'll be noticeably dark. We'll only have about like 40, 50 watts per meter squared of sunlight, starting from initially, you know, 600, give or take. At 330, we will see the diamond ring. Exactly 330? Yes. All right. Yeah, that's what it looks like. At 330 and a half, we'll see Bailey's beads. So the Bailey's beads will last about 15 seconds. You need your glasses on during that. However, at that same time, we'll also see the shadow bands. Most folks forget about this, but it's worth looking at, especially if we are snow covered, which we may be. If not, we'll bring something white to put in the ground. Wait, what's the current snow depth where we're going? Oh, Is that on like five to eight inches? But oh, okay. I mean, it's, it's going to change oh. so much tomorrow, given we're going to be about 54 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> so there'll be a lot of sublimation. Yeah, any other questions? Please don't show uh, me drinking in any of this video. Please show me drinking. <laughs>
Uh, no, they don't. Oh, wait, they do. Bottom left. Hello. Hey, good morning. Can I just do a dozen Eclipse Donuts? Thanks. I got a Eclipse Donut, Donut Chocolate, Donut Glaze. Yeah, how does satellite look right now? I'm worried about those. You don't want clouds. I want to see the damn thing. So we're passing license plates from like every state in the Northeast, tons of mass plates, Vermont, New Hampshire. Everyone's going north, and look, there's like no one coming south. We're about 15 miles away from the path of fatality right now. A couple high thin cirrus clouds, they're stressing me. They will be gone in time for the show. Right, Tess? We're about to cross into the path of totality in about five, four, three, two, one. And with that, we're in the zone that will be fully blocked by the moon shadow in about five and a half hours time. Could it be? Turn left into the Is this? Y'all get to go inside. Arrive. All right. Is this Ontario? Yes. At the stop sign, turn left onto Oakfield Smyrna Road towards Smyrna Mills. Erica Lopez. Yeah, but we've seen all the signs saying don't fall. In a quarter mile, the destination is on the right. Getting ready for the solar eclipse. It's already over Texas. My hometown is seeing partiality right now. In a couple of minutes, we're, my iPad's gonna go off with several alarms on which each city has totality. So right now, Mexico is going under totality. Mazatlan, Mexico already had their totality, so now it's moving up. We'll get in on Texas here in just a couple of minutes. And then us here, which Matthew Capucci did a great job picking the location, the state. Not a single cloud in the sky right now, which is absolutely amazing i thought it was gonna be a little bit cold as you notice there's snow on the ground but it actually feels really nice uh so we're getting ready here and there's so many people out here right now as well they're sitting in their chairs waiting for totality this gas station that we're next to completely booked there's a lot of people here ready to see the total solar eclipse in oakfield maine Hey y'all, it's meteorologist Erica Lopez and Matthew Capucci. We are in Oakfield, Maine, and as you see, we're setting up to oh, see yeah. totality. We're so excited to be here. Yep. Uh -huh. The Great American Total Solar Eclipse of Monday, April 8, 2024. The shadow takes about 68 minutes to cross mm -hmm. the country. It's already in Texas. Yep. They're seeing totality right now near the Mexico-US border, and this is yep. your first eclipse. Yes, and you know, it's an honor to be here with you because you've oh. seen so many, you're an expert. Yep. And let me tell you guys, this whole week has been a little bit crazy because we had originally planned to be in San Antonio, Texas, and we're in Maine. So yes. the forecast, clear day, beautiful day. And so that makes us very excited to be here with snow on the ground. You know what's so <laughs> ironic, Erica, is yeah. the fact that climatologically, historically speaking, this place here mm -hmm. has the least chance of clear skies in the yeah. country for early April. <laughs> if you don't, I'm going to. So we're at first contact right now here in northern Maine, meaning the bottom right of the sun has a little teeny bite out of it. Only about 5-10% of the sun is covered. Over the next hour, you'll see that shrink down to next to nothing, and then 3 minutes, 21 seconds of totality. It's going to be awesome. You guys at home won't be able to see it, but 
every little, you do what's called waffle fingers, go like this, make little gaps, and all these teeny openings are like teeny apertures, and they make little projections of the sun at home. So right now the sun is about 35-ish percent covered, meaning Missouri you know, is on totality. Missouri now, is seeing so totality. You guys can minutes, track, yeah. can track this live in the eclipse layer yes. in the My Radar app. We're like 720, 730, and now we're down to about 520, 530. So you know, it's, it's dropping rather quickly. 30-ish minutes to go, actually less, only 29 minutes to go until yeah. totality here in Oakfield, Maine. Our meteorologist. Michael Linden is in Orlando, Florida, keeping track of everything for us out there. So shout out to him. Go He's Mike. doing a great job right now. Pretty much everybody so, in the U.S. will be able question. to see at least either a total eclipse or a partial eclipse. We have, okay, it is, totality here is at 331.45. So okay, 45 3, seconds 45. after 331. We have three minutes Less and 21 than 15. seconds here like in northern Maine. a sunset. It's a different kind of dim. And I didn't know it, like this is weird. I feel like there's a filter on my eyes right now. That, that's yeah. the best way to describe it. 2079, the next perfect perfect on the United States, August 12th, 2045. Glasses off, get ready. Guys, if you look bottom left, look up. If you look bottom left, you see a prominence in the chromospheres. Until you see one of these, people can't really understand why people travel thousands of miles, convince their whole family to go. And uh, I've been waiting this, for this for a long time. We had totality, but yeah, you can just barely see there's a back diamond. All right, guys, it's done. And uh, yeah, we got to see it. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.